Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Russia. So the plan for today is to set up the Siege of Pohokwe. I'm not sure if I'll be able to take the city in this episode, I'll try. But as I said, it's quite difficult to say uh, what's going to happen when I really uh, try to attack the city. And uh, um, well, for now, uh, Pokato just uh, sees the army on the border, but I'm not really doing anything. So he is basically just sitting here waiting for my move. And it's hard to say what's the reaction going to be when I really move in and start attacking the city. Usually that's the time when the AI just starts really sending uh, reinforcements. And I can't really stop the reinforcements. I don't think I can get to this road and pillage it. So we'll see. We'll just try to probably set up the siege on this line. Or uh, not siege, like the, the front line will be here where the four wrench units behind and uh, we'll just see what happens how many units uh, Pocatello sounds a worst case scenario we can always retreat but yeah definitely I like to take the city before the uh, strength increases too much so that's one thing we'll also get machinery so that should help us with the defense against Mongolia and uh, well I guess that's it we just need to keep killing units to get uh, extra yields okay let's end the turn come on hmm Can I take out the spikeman now? Have uh, trebuchet here. <clears throat> okay, I think I need to send the long swordman south. This one is healing, and uh, they still wait. I want to destroy the encampment before I send more units. Although it's just five damage, but still not necessary taking taking uh, the damage on more than one unit. I think. Yeah, I'll just wait for next turn. Uh, we don't have anything to protect at, uh, on this turn anyway. We didn't move the ranch units forward. Okay, so here we have a new composite bow. Let's go again. Accuracy. And we'll send him to Yekaterinburg. We have what five workers here, so there's no point in sending another one. I'll just send him south. Are you done with the plantation? You are, so let's build a mine. Wait, wait. Fortify. How much money do we have? 500. This is brave. Uh, 
How long would it take to get another composite bow? Two turns. Okay, so what's it gonna be? Definitely not work boats. Yes, we want armories up as soon as possible. Uh, wait, can we still get cathedral somewhere? No. So we will just save up some faith. And can we trade something? Hmm, not really. I'm, th I'm trying to find some uh, extra money for the upgrades that we'll get uh, in six turns. Uh, 500. That'll probably be enough for like maybe three, maybe four upgrades maximum. We need how many? Ten. Yeah, I definitely need to find more money. Can we just maybe pillage some trade routes? No. Okay, well, we'll just keep going. Hmm. Could probably use one more unit down here. I think I'll have to move back out of here. Let's see. Four turns. Uh, almost there. I'll wait here just in case the settler is again heading this way. And that's why I'm uh, training one more composite bow. So that I can have one unit here and another one in Ekaterinburg and that will give us garrison everywhere. Okay, next. So, how are we doing? Um, well, you have to run away. You'll move back. You have to move away. Uh, 
Oh, this is going to take a while. Can we sound... We could release one more unit. But if I send... Sure, I can probably send the pikeman, this one. And just rely on the wall. Above 50, or, oh, it's not, it's 48, so it doesn't matter in what order. I attack. Can we get a kill? Oh, great. Sit where you are. Where did the um, settler go? Is it? Is he here? If he is, then there's a good chance he actually tries it. Okay, that will be another worker for us. I'm not sure that we need another one. Let's see. We have eleven, so I probably can just uh, sell him. Next. Okay, there's machinery. So I think we managed to get it in like three or four turns instead of eight. So that's great. And now. Let's get this upgrade. There are some ships and I want to make sure that the city is well defended. Is there a chance to get a kill on the night? Probably not. Oh, there might be a chance to kill this one. Forty-six hit points. We'll get what plus plus twenty before they attack again. I think the pikeman will be safe. You can stay where you are. And, uh, well, you need healing, you need healing. How much are those upgrades, by the way? 115. Two. Three next turn we upgrade this one, then we switch them. 
Uh, I think I can actually upgrade this guy as well. Okay, one, can we kill the pikeman in the city? No, probably not. He'll be low, but it's not enough damage. How many wonders does he have? Alhambra and Hagios Sophia. Free Prophet and Free Church. Mm. Yeah, this is one of the wonders that you want to build. It is not that uh, good when you just uh, capture it. Free Castle. All mounted Mela units. Receive the Jeanette promotion. Improving combat strength and attacking and providing a chance to withdraw from combat. Boost city. Culture output by 10%. We have no mounted melee units. So, uh, I guess it's in his capital. Can we see it? This is Hagia Sophia. And I guess this is Alhambra. So, if you could take his capital, I would probably just buy some melee units here for the promotion do we have horses no yeah i didn't really didn't think that we would rely on uh on uh, mounted units this time i wanted to go just uh ranch units with uh, uh like normal melee units with uh zero mounted mounted units but uh with that promotion that's something that was added to the game recently so like maybe test it a bit spain and Celts are now friends good go Okay, now we'll have to withdraw. I'm really quite disappointed and uh, they're just not defending the city it seems they moved the pike my way that's the one that we almost killed last time and moved the new one into the city they are making sure it has garrison but that's it and There is no way he's fighting Spain, so he's basically at war only with us. And he's doing nothing. What the hell? Okay, you need healing. You guys will just sit where you are. Same for you. And how are we gonna do it around the arrow slow? Move back. Probably send the the composite boat to Ekaterinburg. Uh, 
Uh, do we want to get a great diplomat? Probably not. I think by the time we have him ready, there'll be embassies everywhere. I could try here in the north, maybe Jerusalem, although uh, the Inca will probably get an embassy there. We are at war with these two. No, we are at war with Budapest as well. Yeah, I think I'll pass on Diplomats this time. I don't think this will be a game about um, World Congress. I think by the time the World Congress would become relevant, the game should be over, or not over, but probably decided. Uh, let's look this tile. This should be, I think, a village? Well, now it's going to be village for sure. How much damage was it? 40. Yep. That's much better. Can't go this way yet. Don't have money to buy the citrus. I may have to do it though because this is the best way how we're gonna secure the the monopoly again. Because we can't really keep this plantation and I can't finish this one safely. Let's go this way and get ready to start working on this plantation once you get the money to buy the tile. How much is it? 140, 155. That's not too bad. Okay, next. Nope. Oh, we lost the unit. No! That's rude. Okay, let's block this town to make sure the uh, skirmisher can't get to our catapults. Especially this one is taking quite a lot of damage. I should probably switch them. Hmm. Okay. Maybe kill this long sword. Not with two attacks. Okay, fine. I'll just focus on the city. What I could do... I could send one wrench unit here. And the trebuchets will attack the city, I think. Okay, wait. Fortify. What is this? Iron to Denmark. Does he have any money now? Nine gold. Could maybe trade him luxury for seven gold per turn. That looks like a good deal. And uh, what about you? Do you want anything now? 
How much are you paying for one iron? One gold per turn. I think I'll keep it. We are over our cap, but uh, that'll change. We are about to finish three. Yeah, three armories. So that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, hello. That's something we'll have to keep an eye on. Next. <laughs> okay, you are going back. Oh really? You want to try this with what? With four ships? Well, good luck with this attack. Can we finish off the drum on? No, not yet. But it's pretty close. There, let's do it this way. How much money do we have? 64. Now we could use some friends. Thinking if there is a way how we could get some cash right now. I don't think so. Okay, fine, let's just wait. Fortify, fortify. Go. Let's see how much damage we can do to the Drummond if we can get the kill. Should be enough. And there are two more, so if I leave the composite bow on this tile, he's quite exposed, but I don't think that two Drummond attacks can kill him. I 
many hit points does this long oh, sorry 71 so now it's time to pillage the tile 45 45 45 Where the hell is Volnius? Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. What does it look like with those armories? Almost there. Good. Next. Do you want a peace treaty? Well, that's good to know. But I don't think I want to peace out with him yet. What I would like is a peace treaty with Attila. There's no point in finding him. Uh, but uh, we can still get some more kills from this war. And of course, kills, that means uh, culture and science. So I think I'll pass. It's just important to know that we can peace out at any moment now. If he sends more units and we feel threatened, we can just immediately end the war. So I'll pass for now. Uh, you want embassy? Yes. Now he's sending some more units. Oh, he's sending quite a few units. Hello. I have to be careful because the, the crossbowman in the city is taking quite a lot of damage. How many ships does he have? Two, four, six. I hate leaving Yaroslav unprotected, but uh, it looks like Petersburg will need some help. How much money do we have? 128. I'll just send more crossbowmen. Two more turns, and we have the city. At this point, well, I want to say, even if he sends uh, more units, we should be fine, but eh. That's one, two, three wrench units, three mill units. If he focuses his attacks, we may still be in trouble. I mean, thinking about, actually, can I move this longswordman back? No, I blocked. All the retreat parts. Never mind. So he has to stay here. Fortify. Go. Could actually die. Or not. Uh, again, the usual problem. The AI has just doesn't know how to focus attacks.
Might have been a mis... No, we will get the kill. If he didn't get the kill, that would have been a mistake. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? And he'll need some healing. Okay. <laughs> now, it's guaranteed that we take the city next turn. Just, uh... Important that we take it without losses. 74, 78, 69. Oh, it should be okay. It'll take quite a lot of damage, but uh, we shouldn't lose anything. next. Something that would increase the strength of the city would be great. We are not gonna get it for how long? Until we get chivalry, so let's say like 10 turns. What can we do in the 10 turns? I think I'll build a lighthouse, it's a little bit better than the aqueduct, at least in this city. Caravan City... don't think Caravan City gives us anything. We don't have furs. Now nah, let's get the lighthouse. Maybe we could go lighthouse and one unit after that, but we'll see. Okay, next. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. Well, at least the Drummond will have to retreat. Fortify. You 
can hide behind the city. Now, do I want this kill? Question is, can I even get it with one shot? I think I can, so I'll take it. And let's move here. And next time we'll attack the trebuchet. One crossbows against the trebuchet, we should be able to win that. Now, upgrades. I'll get an upgrade here. Oh, now we can build the cathedral. So I built the cathedral here already, or... Maybe not. How many shots do we need? 56... I'm trying to figure out if I can get the kill here. And by the way... I can't peace out yet. That's not enough. Well, if I attack here, now I should be able to take the city. What does it look like? That's a pretty good one. That means I can move the crossbowman forward, move the general into the city. Attack. Oh, that's even a kill. Okay, that's that makes it easier. Fine. Fortify. And look at that. Now, now Chivalry is only two turns away, and uh, we can get our last uh, uh, social policy, our last social policy in authority. Probably not the unit that I would choose, but I can still send him, I think, to Yaroslav. Or even better, he'll replace this crossbowman. Now, I don't think we have to go for walls first, we'll just start with courthouse. the hell are we down to eight gold per turn it's probably the, those armories that we are finishing and not just armories like we, we have just finished quite a few buildings how many upgrades are we missing two that's one up here and the other one in Novgorod
I think I'll just save the money and upgrade this guy. Next. Come on, I said next. Uh, yeah, I don't think I really want to work with Denmark. Are they still at war with the Inca? How is it going for so long? Did I forget how to peace out? Uh, okay, he brought another trebuchet that changes the numbers a little bit. Now, can we kill the skirmisher? And I'll just keep asking Attila every turn if he can finally peace out. Thank you. That's a pretty important peace treaty because now I don't have to worry about my flank. a lot of culture and science around the coast. more than enough mines I think so let's build a few lumber mills a new Mongolian city and I don't think I can get the horses in time. Uh, I'm surprised that no one settled the location. It's a pretty good one. It's 2,000 horses, cattle, wheat, stone, citrus. Just too expensive. 264 the planes. That's too much. I think I'll rather get uh, the remaining upgrades. Okay, so the only upgrade that we are missing right now is here. That's one that we don't care about. Forward. 
and attack. Much damage I can do. Oh, that's almost enough. Oh. Wait. So if I move here, cross the river, attack, then I get the kill and the heal. And let's send one healthy pikeman just in case. Fortify, fortify. I'm thinking about accepting the peace treaty with Mongolia. Can we get something from it? No. The thing is, the longer this war goes, the more it delays the next one. And I want to have as much time as possible for uh, Pocatel and Attila. Hmm, what should I start with here? Castle or or armory? Uh, castle, that's safer. But armory, that's much better yields. But I th think I'll risk it and go with armory. Uh, in our capital, there is actually one very important building that I forgot about almost. Definitely need the school of philosophy. Next. We have a problem. What do I want to destroy? The only unit that can take the city is the trireme, but uh, they barely touch the city, so we don't have to worry about that yet. I'd much rather kill another drama and please tell me there was a kill. Good. Now, this crossbowman can hit the uh, hit the trireme. This one I could finish off the trireme, but uh, leaving the crossbowman exposed probably is not the best idea. But on the other hand, with the new rules for. Um, Naval bombardment. I think he can get hit only by one ship. It's not like they can bombard, move away, move another ship. Uh, it's been changed that after attacking the ship can't move away anymore. The thing is, I'm not 100% sure about this. So uh, I don't want to accidentally lose the crossbow man just because I misunderstood how uh, the naval combat now works. So I think safer would be moving the crossbow man back and just hit another drama. Are we done with the mine? We are indeed. Uh, where is... Oh, we already have logging camps. Why am, I, why am I not building logging camps everywhere? Um, mm, we have more than enough workers around here, so let's send this one to the capital.
And now we just want to prepare the attack on uh, Mosengani. How many cities does he have? Six? I think we'll have to take one more city after Mosengani and then we'll be able to vassalize him. Let's move away from the border, just in case there is uh, a wrench unit somewhere, or I don't know, uh, a knight. Don't want to lose a unit that easily. We already lost that uh, Pathfinder in a similar fashion, so just make sure it doesn't happen to a more important unit. Fortify, fortify. Do we have garrisons everywhere? Yes. Well, where best calls for the liberation of Kathmandu? Partisans from the conquered city of Kathmandu have allied with the leaders of Budapest and request your help in retaking their capital. If you help the partisans from Kathmandu liberate their capital, your influence with both city states will increase greatly. Yeah, but uh, that's not gonna happen yet. What's the reward, by the way? Where is Budapest? Hundred and fifty and two happiness. Well, it's not bad. But considering how difficult it is to liberate the city state, I'd expect a bit more. Okay, next. Not yet. Would really like to get more kills? Uh, embassy. What about just one for one trade? That's better. Oh, come on, really? You're gonna attack my capital? <coughs> Well, good luck with that. How far can we send the crossbowman? Again, this might be a mistake. But he's at 100 hit points, so even if he had, gets hit like 3 times, he shouldn't die. Ah, oh, come on. It won't be enough damage? No. Let's see what they're gonna do.
might be able to get a kill on this pikeman, although I think it's quite unlikely. Let's see. Let's move all crossbows in the range. One. Actually, should be enough. Nice. It's our war score with Pocatel 40. Uh, oh, now he's not willing to talk. Well, that's fine. We can just keep fighting for a while. I was just curious how much you'd be able to get from the peace treaty. So I was thinking if I peaced out with him. If I could maybe try attack on Otrar, just to test it, uh, how many units would Mongolia send? We're actually pretty close to gunpowder with all the extra uh, science that we are getting. Because if we get gunpowder, then I think think we would be able to take Otrar, because uh, Tercios against Knights, that's a pretty good matchup for the Tercios. But we are down to 34% happiness, that's another issue. Hmm. Let's see, does anybody have extra luxuries? I think Attila had extra lapis. I want to buy it from him, but I may not have a choice. That would be what? Six gold per turn? Would you accept six? You would. Fine. Just, I have to stay above 35. Next. This is interesting. Didn't expect him to send units to counter attack. That's a mistake. <coughs> Excuse me. is safe for this turn. How long is he gonna be prisoner of war? 20 more turns. I think I'm actually gonna make a cut here. I'll have to think a little bit about uh, how I'm gonna uh, attack down here. Because I'd like to kill all three pikemen. And I think I should be able to do it. Just have to do, uh, move all the units in the right way. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I won't be able to do it, like because I can't attack from the city, or I can't hit this tile from the city. That'll be a problem. But oh, well, we'll see what I can come up with. Uh, how does it look like in the north, by the way? I can move the crossbowman to the city. And... Let's see, swap these two. Could probably kill the Drummond. Was it you kill? No. Yeah, I'd have to move this crossbowman, or I would have to move uh, units differently. I have to probably move the crossbowman down here, and then this one to the city. But I'm not sure if I move the crossbowman on this tile that he would survive. So I think we all just have to accept the fact that uh, the drummond survives. And yeah, that will be all for this episode. So as usual, I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.